looking around the freshman co uh, the class of, uh, of about 105 kids, we're so ready. It's absolutely a great opportunity to be able to uh, go forth and say, this is how I want my college to look. And uh, we're so determined that it's going to be totally awesome. Okay. One, two, three. Go! <laughs>Scott Yoder told me about this. It was it just felt right from the beginning. My mom put me in the RCH because she thought it sounded so cool. I, I guess it was kind of daunting, but it was also kind of exciting in the same way because we were the first class and we had a role in creating the college. Not necessarily struggled, but didn't always know like where exactly we were going, which classes we were gonna end up taking. This is in a sense our legacy that we're leaving behind in this program. The RCH is about communication. When I'm in other classes that aren't ARCA, there's something missing. And like there's like there's just they don't get like the whole picture and you really do with ARCA. Sometimes you're in other classes and people will just kind of sit there and look at each other awkwardly while the teacher waits for someone to say something. And that's just not how it is here. We're not really treated as though we're lessers in classes here. We're treated as though we're fellow citizens, fellow academics, fellow researchers. And you develop together. Most of the people who are in your class are the same year or one year different. And especially as the first class, I think we've had kind of a special experience of developing with each other at each level. There's nobody older than us in any class. so we've all got to kind of see how we progress. I think it's kind of a trend for arts and humanities people to be kind of quieter, kind of more introspective, but then once they come here and they realize that there is a place for them and they're not, you know, the quiet one in school, they do have the opportunity to kind of come out of their shell and talk more and express their opinions and, and you know, grow into some more leadership. Everybody knows who you are, even if you've never had them as a professor. I think that's, that's really cool. I loved my Appalachian music class, like how many people Go to college, you get to learn to play like Appalachian music. The faculty just kind of care more. Um, they're more vested in us and growing and getting us out into society as if I were to walk in the halls of another building. I mean, there may be adults there, but they wouldn't think twice of looking at me. The main thing that this program will give me, I think, is the ability to think critically and to think across disciplines and not to think about things from only one perspective. And also go out and really figure out what you really think and be able to apply critical thinking in the situations you have out in the community and out in the world. The people who have um, taken the most out of the RCH have also really involved themselves in the community here. We are understanding the past so that we may appreciate the present in order to create change in the future. You can't be passive about your education. You need to, dis you need to think about what you're interested in, what pleases you and gives you satisfaction and makes you feel like you're doing something. When people get together, they realize that they're not so different and that they all kind of want very similar things. We all have a vision. I'm able to interact in a more intelligence discourse than I would have before I came here. Thanks for a great four years. I mean, it's been wonderful. Just thank you to the college for what they've given me and that they created it in time for me to be here. RCH in one word. Um, can I do a hyphenated word? <laughs> Multiple hyphenated words? <laughs> um, I should've known this is coming. I should've prepared my word. Um, I'll say engage. Ark is a home. Nothing else, <laughs> just a home. Interesting. Transculturalization. Now, I'm not sure if that's a real word. Passion. Passion. I almost would say exhilarating. It's been really, crazy fun and I've gone places I never thought I would go and done things I never thought I would do so it's been really exhilarating from about day one.